Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host Dave. Ah, wrong, wrong set of controls. Jeez. AMF1534 here. I had to kind of collect myself for a second there. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo Numero 2. Oh. And uh, we are uh, moving further in this lovely endeavor of ours. And uh, we are determined to at least get to, I don't know, probably 65 or better. So that's, that's my grand focus for the day here. Like I said in the previous episode, we have this thing well in hand right now. As far as I'm concerned, I, I there is a guy right behind us, but that is not the guy that's in second. We were kind of having a little bit of a mini battle uh, last time just because he was, he was kind of hanging in there, but we're going we're gonna to end up putting all the space that we need to have here in between it in just a second. Just got to slow down. Got to slow the old roll here. Man, this guy, he's, he's hanging, though. For being the guy supposedly in, like, probably fifth place, he's, he's not doing too bad at uh, staying right in the old thing. But he'll, he'll definitely pass me right now because I really need to change these tires. I mean, they are they're not in the best of shape. So, here's the deal. Here, here is the damn deal. I have some stuff to, I need, I have some stuff I need to get off my chest. And it goes as such. I wonder if that car that's right back here, is that the guy that's in second place? I really hope not. That'd be weird. Nope, sure isn't. So it's the guy that's way behind that. That's the guy that's truly in second place right now. And he's a long ways away. Why didn't I do this one so long ago? This, this race is cake. And I mean like red velvet at the wedding cake. That's, that's how good it is right now. Like we're not even straining. I'm trying to remember the one that we did a while back where it came down to like the last few laps. I, I think it may have actually been Trial Mountain. I think that was the one actually where we were kind of actually we were kind of having a bit of a struggle with it, kind of sort of. Maybe mainly because I made a couple of really stupid mistakes that almost made me have to do all 40 whatever laps of it over again. So I'm glad we don't have to deal with that again. But here's what I want to talk about. This has been driving me up the wall. For the last, well, probably four or five days now. So, what I was going to do, or what I did, is I decided to be bold and decide that it was going to be a cool idea for me to buy some cool little electronic gadgets from Hong Kong off of this website called Etronics Mart. And, uh, unf like, that was the only place I could find it. What it is, it's called a, uh, what the hell is it called? It's called a Dingu uh, a, uh, A380. And pretty much what it is, it's like a it's like a pocket emulator. It's pretty much like a portable gaming system that supports playing like a NES, a Super NES, Genesis. Um, let's see. Uh, it also does. Let's see. I think it does Sega Master System. It also does uh, arcade games and Neo Geo. I think are the the main ones that it supports. And so I uh, I initially saw it on ThinkGeek.com. That's the first place that I saw it. And I was like, dude, I gotta get one of these. And I would have bought it there, but they were out of stock of them. So I was like, alright, well, holy shit. So I started looking around everywhere. Couldn't find it for the life of me. Just nowhere to be found. I looked for it on Amazon. Couldn't find it. Looked for it on eBay. Couldn't find it. Looked for it pretty much everywhere else I could I could possibly think of. Uh, and just no, uh, an absolute no-go on all those. Except for this website called Etronics Mart, which is like, a, they're like an electronics retailer out of Hong Kong. And so I was like, alright, sick. So and the best part is they had they had it for like a hundred and it was like a hundred and nine dollars, which is like fifty dollars less than what it retails for. So I was like, fucking sick, this is awesome. I'm gonna just gonna buy one of these and it's gonna be super sick and I'm gonna be able to play all sorts of games on it and it has like HDMI out on, on it and stuff, so I could probably even, you know, uh, do like video series out of it because I've never been able to get arcade ROMs to work on my computers. So this was going to be like super tight. I was going to be super up and excited about it. So Saturday rolls around. I was waiting for the right time to do it. And so Saturday rolls around. So I was like, all right, all right, I'm going to buy this thing. And it's going to be, it's going to be super cool. Because it was on sale at this point. So I, uh, you know, I put one in the old, in the old shopping cart, the, uh, the old internet shopping cart that doesn't even exist, but it's there. And so I go and I, I try to buy this thing. And it says, you know, method, methods of payment. You can do, uh, you know, do debit and credit cards. I was like, all right, sweet. It, it supports PayPal. No big deal. 
Uh, so I, you know, I go and I, you know, start purchasing it, and I put in all my information, blah 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 foreskin, and uh, so you know, I get all that stuff worked out and where it's gonna ship and all that jizzle. By the way, shipping for that stuff? I mean, I understand it, but it just like when you see it, it still kind of pisses you off. I saw it, and the shipping was like, oh, I don't know, it was like 28 bucks. And that was that was just uh, that was just for like three day shipping. Like I could have gone with like the regular parcel, like seven to twenty day shipping, and it still would have been like eighteen bucks. So I was like, well, fuck, I'll spend an extra. I'll put out an extra ten simoleons. I'll put forth an extra ten simoleons if you'll get it to me in you know a fraction of the time, and you'll give me a tracking number for it. So no big deal there. You have to expedite it anyways, so you might as well just give me the the best thing out of it. So I do that, and so they, I, I go to try to pay for this thing, and on their, on their little website banner, down on the bottom of the site, it says, you know, PayPal accepted, debit credit card accepted, Visa MasterCard, Maestro, Discover American Express, all that bull hell. And so I go, and I start putting my information in, and I start typing in my credit card number, and then while I'm doing that, on this banner, on the website, that shows, you know, the acceptable methods of payment. I start typing in my card number, and the MasterCard logo disappears, like, real-time, off the site, and it says, MasterCard not supported. And I was like, um, okay. Well, why the hell not? Like, why would you tell me on your website that you accept MasterCard until I start typing in my card number, and then you tell me that all of a sudden you don't take it anymore. By the way, the lap that we just had right before this one was the fastest lap we've ever had. Super sick. Um, but yeah, it's like all of a sudden it's just like, oh yeah, by the way, we don't take this card and it's not supported. I was like, well, fuck, that's my, my debit card, that's a MasterCard, so holy shit. So I decided to dig into my wallet for my PayPal card. I was like, well, it says that it takes PayPal, so there's no way in hell that it's not going to take a PayPal card. So I go pull the card out of my wallet, and lo and behold, it's a PayPal MasterCard debit card. And I was like, fuck! It's not gonna take one of these either! And it, like, it said that it's PayPal supported, but the website that it took me to, like, the little, the little prompt that it took me to was definitely not a PayPal affiliate. Like, it didn't give me the option to use my PayPal account whatsoever to pay for this thing. And so I was like, well, what the fuck? Like, why would you even bother giving me like, why would you even bother, like, saying that you take PayPal as, a me as like, a viable method of payment when you don't? And so I was like, alright, well, holy shit, what, there's got to be some other way. And so there was another way, and this was the way I ended up going with it, and I absolutely regret doing it ever since. But the other option, the only other option, by the way, there was no other way to do this because you're going international, and there's only select ways that they'll allow this to work. They don't take cash, and I don't blame them because more than likely, that'd probably get lost in the mail somewhere. They don't take check for the exact same reason. It'll be way too easy to alter those. So I decide to take the dun-dun-dun, the route of Western Union money transfer. Oh yeah, my absolute favorite way of just giving my money away to bullshitty things. And it was just like sketch enough, like the name of the, the name of the person that I was, you know, filling this out for wasn't even the business name. I had to fill it out for like, I'm guessing the name of the owner of the business, and I don't know why I didn't think that this was, like, the most shoddy thing that was ever happening at the moment. I was so, like, clouded in the sense of, oh my god, I have to have my dingu! Yeah, I must have it! And I really, actually, I really do must have it. That didn't even make any sense, but you understand what I was saying. I really, really do must have it. I need it. I need it! And I apparently have a new follower on Twitter. How about that? So, I go and I fill out all the bullshit, and uh, the way they had this set up was you fill out the money transfer, and then once you, once, you send the tr once you send the payment, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to send an email uh, to the sales department of this place. Oh, shit. You're supposed to send an email to the sales department of this place, um, and it's supposed, to, it's supposed to have your name... Your uh, the number your order number of the transaction, and then you're then you're supposed to include the uh, the money the money transfer control number that they give you from Western Union, and then you know the they'll send one of their sales associates out to Western Union they'll pick up the payment and then they'll uh, they'll send out your delivery or you'll send out your item to be delivered, and so I did that 
I mean, I sent them the email, and within like two minutes, within two minutes I get like a return email. I was like, oh, sick, okay, well they already responded, which is pretty wild on a Saturday that they would do that. And it sends me back an email saying, your message could not be sent. And I was like, well, why is that? So I start reading into it, and it says, the, uh, the destination user's inbox is full. And I was like, well, fuck, like, well, how, how are they supposed to send out my item if they can't even read my email? That's just fucking stupid. So, okay, well, I guess I'll just have to wait. So I wait until the next day to see, you know, and I, so I try again the next day, send the email off, absolutely, I get the same thing. Within like five minutes, it sends me back a return email saying that it couldn't be sent because their inbox is full. It's like, dude, this better not be the problem here. And so I go and I look on their customer service thing after this happened twice in a row. Come to find out they don't have a phone number that you can call for probably, and it probably wouldn't have helped me out any because, let's be honest, it probably would have been some Hong Kongian guy it doesn't speak a bullshit lick of English. And I would have been, like, sitting here, Do you know when to send out my order? Because you didn't do it yet. I don't know. I'm just assuming that's what, it's, what it would have sounded like if he didn't know English, which is a very decent possibility. But you never know. And so I come to find out they don't have a, they don't have a hotline number that I can call, so I'm fucked over there. It says that they had, you know, like a little... It said that they had a Skype thing that I could call, you know, via Skype. So I click on that little thing. Absolutely nothing happens there. So it's like, oh, great. So I decided to, you know, go into Skype itself and search for that username, thinking I could just call them that way. The username doesn't even exist. So that's also just great. So I'm like, dude, I have, like, absolutely no way that I can talk to these guys. And they had some other like emailing prompt thing that you could that you could send out uh, that was that would be sent to the owner of the company. So I sent out I've sent out one of those every single day, along with the other emails, hoping that that would make a difference uh, to their department, trying to figure out what the hell's going on and why it's taking so long. And uh, it's I mean we're in day five now, and I still haven't heard a score to piss worth of information from these guys. So I'm starting to get a little bit weary, thinking that maybe I just doled out $137.99 for absolutely nothing, and they just took my money, and there's nothing I can do about it. So I really hope that's not the case, because I really want one of these things, like, really bad, and there's no other place I can get it from than from these little douchey assholes. And so I started looking, like, on reviews of their company as a whole, and, like, it was a pretty mixed bag of, of reviews. Like, I, I saw some people saying... Hey, you know, like I ordered my product and it got here really quick and I'm super happy about it and, you know, thanks for being super awesome and your prices are great and blah blah blah. And then the other half of it is exactly what I'm dealing with. Like, I, I sent out my payment, I tried to email you guys and never heard back from anybody. You guys would, and then when I did hear from you guys, you wouldn't even send out my item because of something, something, something that I don't remember what the circumstances were, but it didn't make any sense of why they wouldn't send it out, but they didn't do it anyways. And so now that guy was out a bunch of money for no reason, and he's really super pissed off, and now I'm just like, dude, don't let that be me. Like, why the fuck do I have to be the guy that, for whatever reason, decided not to have a Visa card? And I just had, like, thank you, Bank of America, for feeling the need to have a MasterCard. When we all know that the most widely accepted, you know, uh, form of payment receptacle thing in the world is Visa. Like, that's that's the most common thing. Like, you know, American Express is probably the least common outside of maybe Discover Card. I don't know. I, I barely ever see either one of those. And then, I don't know, actually, you know what, Maestro cards are pretty rare, too. I think that's like a European-only type of thing. And Cirrus cards, too. Those things are also pretty fucking weird. But, yeah, dude, I'm, like, super bummed out about it. I really hope that this doesn't end up being what I think is going to end up happening. I really hope that they prove me wrong. And, you know, one of these days before I'm 50 decide to get back to me on this. Because even if I, like, even if I decide, hey, I don't even want to do this anymore. Like, I just, I want to cancel my order. I don't even know if they're even going to refund my money because it was done via Western Union. And I don't know if I can just be like, hey, so uh, I sent you guys 140 bucks, and they never really did anything about it, so can you just, like, give me my money back? Like, I don't know if they can do that or not. I've only used Western Union, like, twice in my entire life, so I have no clue to whether that is something that you can even do.
do or not. I hope so, because if this doesn't work out, I really don't want to be out 140 bucks, because that would just be a Sausalito worth of penises. And that's not, that's not good. I mean, nobody wants to have a Sausalito's worth of penises. It's just not a good idea for anybody. No, don't do that. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what we're dealing with right now. When I get more development on this entire situation, I'll let you guys know, because I, you know, I figure, like, I, like you guys are in this with me now. Like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna not be a part of this little scheme with me because of the fact that I spent 15 minutes just bitching about it, so you guys are along for the ride from this point forward. And now that my throat hurts from all the talking as we are sitting on lap number 66. Number, uh, oh no, number 662 will be going off right about Jesus. Yes, right about Jesus. It'll be going off right about now. Bing, bing. <laughs> and that's the one, Mob. That's the Silver Tuna. All right, guys. Well, my throat's starting to hurt from talking too much and being pissed off about shit. So when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 2, we are going to progress on some more. Maybe I'll have some development for you guys upon that. But, yeah, we'll deal with that when we come to it. So this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!